With close to 6 million tourists visiting Gulf Shores each year, restaurants prepare to welcome folks with the best Gulf seafood in our area. But what happens when you are the original oyster house and oysters each year are harder to come by? Here's our story. just a short while ago you had the ribbon cutting for the oyster shell recycling program that you have unbelievable program mark tell the folks all about it well it's actually one of our lead programs for the alabama coastal foundation but only through partnerships like great restaurants like the original oyster house uh, in essence what it is uh, we have a grant to educate the restaurants that used to throw those sh oyster shells away um, but we tell them hey that's a really valuable natural resource give them to us they, we collect them Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week, and then get them back into the water where more oysters like to grow. Uh, Joe, I'm sure being the original oyster house, when you heard about an oyster shell recycling program, you definitely wanted to jump on board right away. It was a natural fit and the right thing to do. Yeah, natural fit, right thing to do. And Mark, there are huge benefits to our environment. Tell the folks a little bit about that. Well, the oyster industry is tr tremendous. About 40% of the seafood for the United States comes from the Gulf of Mexico. So it's a really important part of our ec economy. And, uh, but the oysters are just fantastic. They're a great food source as well as they um, filter water. They provide habitat for other shellfish and other finfish. Um, and they protect from short, uh, shorelines from eroding. So it's a really, they are a really wonderful resource. And the more shells that, uh, that customers buy from these restaurants, the more shells we can get back in the water. And that's the, the favorite um, place for new shells to grow is on the outside of old shells. Speaking of that, you were giving me some interesting facts before this started about how many shells you've uh, recovered so far and all that information. Tell the folks about that. Well, at that ribbon cutting that we did earlier, um, we actually had 16 restaurants participate. We did our first phase up on the causeway. Uh, by the end of 2017, we're projecting 2.7 million shells will have been saved from the landfills. That's about seven acres worth. Um, we did a calculation, it's about 60 elephants worth of a weight uh, for, for shells. That's always a good measurement. How many elephants does that make up? So you can see huge impact to the Gulf Coast. So Joe, we want to encourage people to come here and eat those oysters because Absolutely. it's going back into the environment. Fire grilled oysters! Known for hand shocked raw, fire grilled and baked oysters, the original oyster house is legendary for fresh Gulf seafood, Southern hospitality and a spectacular waterfront view. Behind the scenes, this restaurant's sustainable practices has taken oysters out of the kitchen to help ensure their future. In its second year, the original Oyster House became one of the only local restaurants to oyster garden or grow stocker oysters for reef restoration. Growing oysters as well as recycling oyster shells to help restore the reef is a champion strategy in preserving this culinary masterpiece. Oyster garden volunteers like me grow oysters in special cages that hang from piers from June to November. On average, each volunteer grows a thousand or more oysters per season. There's more to it than I anticipated as each week a different strategy of cleaning ensued, plus the cages got heavier as the oysters grew, and the battle of removing predators became my nemesis. But all the hard work pays off when your oysters have grown up and can carry out such an important job, which is to restore the reef. Knowing they are never to be eaten was a huge bonus. The oysters are collected in November and planted on restoration reefs in Mobile Bay and the Mississippi Sound. More than 85% of the oyster reefs have been lost globally. An oyster reef provides an essential habitat for all kinds of marine and plant life, and a healthier oyster population improves the quality of water, which enhances commercial and recreational fishing and ecotourism. This education and research program has planted more than 940,000 oysters since it began in 2001. Last season, more than 120,000 advanced stocker size oysters were grown for restorations by volunteers, which included the original Oyster House gardeners. Children too can get involved, become oyster trailblazers, and earn an oyster shell recycling tattoo. All they have to do is answer five true or false questions about oyster facts that they learned from our kids menu. From recycling shells, to help restore the reef, to giving back to the community, 
The original Oyster House is making more than great food. They're making a difference. So next time you're in Gough Shores or cutting across the Mobile Causeway, be sure to stop by for fresh golf seafood complete with a waterfront view at the original Oyster House. And you too can become an oyster trailblazer.